All right, you're rolling with the baby horse. Okay, this is Tigger. He's a two-year-old quarter horse gelding that will be gray one day. Uh, and I just want to show you, uh, this horse has had no groundwork. We broke the lead and tied, uh, been in a horse trailer, but we've had none of the Clayton Anderson work or any real groundwork. So we want to show you how to get your horse at home to be able to stand with the whip, uh, hitting the ground and being quiet with it. So we'll show you on one that hasn't done it before. Uh, he's pretty curious, but he's, a, you know, he's still a baby and doesn't know what we're asking for. So first you want to make sure that you can touch the horse all over and he's not afraid of it touching him somewhere. And you'd be surprised at the amount of horses that actually don't like that. Right there, he doesn't love it. So that tells me that's a place to kind of work on. Maybe not today, because we've got a different goal. But you still kind of let the horse tell you what he doesn't like, so you can uh, work on that later. So, I'm going to be able to do both sides. See how he's looking around, worried about me there. So I'm not going to, I'm going to prevent him from running forward, but I'm not going to prevent him from going backwards or sideways. And that is really the trick. They can go forward forever. So uh, you, you prevent that just by bumping them, but you don't just hold them into place. Because remember, the idea is to allow them to move, allow them to kind of have a little bit of a heart attack. And when they stand still, then you release the pressure. And so what do horses learn by? By the release of pressure. So when he moves and has a little bit of a meltdown and then stands still and the pressure goes away, then he'll go to that quicker and quicker. And in the ideal world, the horse spooks, but spooks in place. We can all sit on that. But when the horse spooks and leaves, uh, jumps 100 feet sideways, it takes a whole while rider to stay, stay with that. So he seems not asleep with this, but he's okay. So I'll go ahead and start. So I don't know the horse. I'm gonna keep my hand up here because a lot of horses will come into you and jump on, uh, into the pressure. So I wanna keep this hand up here. If he comes towards me, I you know, kind of, bump the air towards his eye, uh, and then I'm gonna start with light pressure. Uh, and I've actually done this with some pretty calm horses. It started like right here, and they come unglued. So always start with a little bit and work your way up. Um, doesn't seem too concerned. So once I had one spot, so see, I stayed here at this three quarter spot, and he didn't seem concerned. So then I move on. If he did show signs of moving there and haven't get concerned, you're silly to move on. You've got to fix one part at a time. So you know, he's sitting there playing with my rope, so obviously he's not too worried about things. But he's had a, a good upbringing. So I'm not going to go all the way behind him, and I'm going to test just a little bit there. Eventually, I want to be all the way behind him, but not today. This is his first time, right? <coughs> so that was good. Now let's try the other side. Typically, if you're going to get a reaction, it will be on this side because humans don't do enough on this side because most of us are right-handed. So see my hands up here, keeping it from blocking with the other head coming into me. What do horses do against pressure? They come into me. And that's what I'm trying to do with the hands. So it's all good. So that was a good first test. So now I'm going to go a little bit harder. If they let you go hard the first day, great. Every horse is different. Like I said, sometimes the quietest ones are the ones that give me the most meltdown. Um, but I'm going to go a little bigger, see what's bigger my arm is. So that looks a little more threatening to him. But he does have a leg top, so I'm happy, happy with that. Okay. So I've made this pretty easy on him. Um, but one thing I need to remember is I actually want him to make mistakes somewhere. Because if he never learns to run and that it doesn't work, then I never really pushed him enough to get that out of him. And the whole point of this is to teach him that running doesn't release the pressure. Uh, so now that I've had a couple good turns, I might see if I can get him to move just a little bit. Within reason, don't go crazy. Um, but certainly, uh,
looked at me. So that was a good place for me to release because he looked at me instead of panic and he said, hey, what are you doing? Um, I much, much prefer a horse that actually addresses what scares him versus either stands there with his eyes glazed and looking off into the distance uh, or just frozen but not truly accepting. So I'll try that again. He looked at me again. He may be a pretty quiet goat. We may have to find a different one. Okay, so let's try it on this side. Okay, so since he, so I probably need to find you guys a different colt, but since he uh, didn't move and I want to show what to do in case he does move, I'll go ahead and go further behind because that's almost always going to get them to be a little bit worried about you. So there he's moving, okay? So what do I do? I don't quit the pressure and I, I try not to go a whole lot less, though, you know, you'll wear out a bit, but I did it till he stopped moving and made sure he stayed still, and I took the pressure away. So he didn't run in panic, right? But he moved, because it looked like I was kind of telling him to. So I stayed with him, tried to keep the same pressure, uh, and until he stopped moving, relaxed for a second, and I took the pressure away. So I'll try it again. Discomfort. Notice how my hand didn't come and stop moving. Human nature tells us to like prevent the problem from happening. Everybody's got to make mistakes before they find the right answer. So I'm just going to stay with them. He tried to run forward. I bumped the halter. The baby comes into it, so I keep him on the floor by bumping, but I don't stop him. Stay with my pressure. Stay with it. Yeah, I like his lips there. I didn't get all the way behind him that time, but I stayed with it and he licked his lips, so I'm gonna take that as a sign of, hey, wait, I figured this out. Good job. Okay, one more time. Well, when it's right behind him, they can't see. And like I said, most of the time, I'm gonna take like a week to get there, but since he's so good with everything else, just wanting to illustrate what to do because your horse is at home likely won't uh, even stand still on the side of them. Um, the average horse doesn't. This one just seems to be very accepting. So I'll try it again. See, you can stop moving. He looked at me and he said, why move? You're That's crazy, I, like, Let him smell it. He did it. This is why my whips are always messed up because I let him bite it all the time. Um, horses need to explore and bite things to decide that they're okay. All right, try it again. So believe me, many times it's much, much more dramatic than this. But if you've got a horse at home that's pretty gentle, he may not, he'll probably be a lot more gentle. He'll be uh, a little worried, but he won't be panicking. So there he moves a little bit. Wasn't even bad, right? But I stayed with him anyway um, because that little bit of movement is still some kind of evasion. And then if I had released the pressure there, I just told him that I wanted him to move. So notice how my posture is a little bit relaxed. Uh, I'm looking at the ground, not trying to be aggressive. Nice job. Good. Uh, so a lot of it's how I'm approaching him. This is move, right? This is relax. Um, this horse doesn't know me, but He's pretty accepting and receptive to, to what a human is thinking. You can tell that already. Uh, so I'm gonna go out on the other side and that'd be a good place to quit. And if I come across one, I'll make another video of one probably being a little more dramatic. But since this is his first time, uh, again, we want him to make mistakes, but we don't wanna to push too quick, too far because uh, we wanna build some confidence in him too. So that means by letting him make a mistake and then 
showing them the, the right answer. Um, if I work to the point where I get an absolute meltdown, maybe that's a little bit my fault. Um, so I want him to move and make mistakes without being totally panicked. Fairly, he's a good one. His first test. <laughs> 